Hello and welcome to Cucina Pazzo. Tonight we're going to be making a boring old salad. So I even have some low carb croutons on there. I know what you're saying. How do you get low carb croutons on there? This is just romaine lettuce, a little bit of Parmesan, some tomatoes, uh, keto bread, toasted. So it gives you the feeling that you got croutons in there and it's low carb. So probably does not fit the keto requirements for a lot of people because it has gluten in there but it has the gluten protein in there it has the gluten fiber in there it doesn't have the rest of the gluten that creates the rest of the wheat that creates the sugar i should say so uh, i'm going to make some blackened coho here and then i am going to show you how to make uh, some low carb dressing to put on your salad and it's really easy to do so uh, in this pan uh, I've got the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Let's talk about some of my ingredients. So I've got California olive growers, uh, extra virgin olive oil. So I cook with really, really clean oils. I've got some truffle oil here. I've got some avocado oil here. Um, this, this I got a jalapeno infused olive oil. Got that in Leavenworth. Um, for the dressing, I'm gonna be adding a little bit, and I do mean just a little bit of the balsamic this is not low carb, so you don't want to use a lot of it. So uh, everything but the bagel seasoning is gonna go in there. For the blackened seasoning, I am using Zatarans. So, uh, and again, very, very simple. You want to uh, let the seasoning sit on there. So anytime you flour something, you bread something, you want to sit it, have it sit on there for a while. Now, this filet was a tiny bit frozen when I put this seasoning on there. So, uh, caught this last year. It still has the skin on it. So, we are gonna put this in the pan right here. So, and this is gonna sit there for about two minutes. So, we'll turn that down just a little bit. So, I have it on eight and a half. Put that in the sink. So, uh, if you remember two thirds, one third. So, we're going to put one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in here. Okay. So I'm not gonna be making a lot of dressing. I don't like a lot of dressing on my salad, so. Let's turn that pan down just a little bit more. I probably need to open this up. So one teaspoon-ish. Teaspoon. Goes in there. Your finger. I'm not so worried about the bottom of this burning because it's skin. So the skin protects it from cooking. I'm just, because it was a little frozen, I'm trying to cook it just a little bit more. So then to this, we're going to add one teaspoon of the Better Bagel Seasoning. I think I might have got that at Walmart. It says Sam's Club. Okay. So anytime you make dressing, you want two thirds oil to one part vinegar. So I, uh, that's about two minutes on there. So we're gonna flip this over. So, We'll let that sit there and like the name black and seasoning we want to flip it over when it's black so uh, this to me looks a little bit thick so we're going to add a little bit more olive oil the olive oil is good oil uh, the reason i buy this brand is it is uh, very smooth tasting doesn't have that peppery bite in the back so um this is my dressing so very very easy to do so, and you notice it doesn't have a lot of ingredients to it. Pan this down so you can see what I'm doing here. So, just enough for a single serving so you don't have a lot of leftover dressing. But if you did make this in a bigger batch, you could use, uh, uh, just keep that two thirds oil, one third vinegar. And then you could increase the amount of the, um, the, better bagel seasoning in there. So let's 
All right. Oh yeah, looking good. So, I always check, see if my food is done. So, uh, seafood, uh, 145, I believe. So, so, and if at this point this is not done, I will flip this over and let it cook on the skin side to protect it. So we're sitting at 129. So just so you know, I'll give you a quick glimpse. That's what it's looking like so far. And then we are gonna crumble this up and put it on the salad. This has a few more minutes, so I will show you the finished product when I get there. 